How to upgrade a gun in the game? These are our gun parts. Some scopes, some silencers, and some grips. First, create an empty game object in gun subset called silencer. Place silencer in its proper position and put it in created empty game object subset and disable it. Do the same for all parts of gun, means silencer, scopes, and grips. Now we have three parts in gun subset silencer, a scope, and grip, which all of them are disabled and we can enable whatever we want. Create a new script called Gun Manager. We are going to manage different parts of gun from within this script. That includes enabling and disabling. Give it to gun. In a script, the find three game object arrays, silencers, scopes, and grips. Now write a void called gun upgrade. In parentheses, define three integers to manage each part of gun. SI is for managing silencer, SC for managing scopes, and GR for managing grip. Now write a for loop to the length of silencer array lengths, and in it, with set active command, deactivate all silencers. Do the same for scopes and grips. Till here, if this void runs, all parts of gun will be disabled. Now, how we can enable the desired part and upgrade our gun? Write silencers in brackets, the defined integer, si, dot set active, in parentheses, true. Do the exact same for a scope and grip. Now, when all parts of gun are disabled, we can enable any part of gun by changing numbers of si, sc, and gr. For test, write void name in a start, in parentheses, 000. Now, before play, we should give each part of gun to its related arrays. So select the gun and lock its inspector. Now give silencers to silencers, scopes to scopes, and grips to grips. And at last, unlock the inspector. Now, if we press play, three parts of gun gets enabled. First element of silencers, first element of scopes, and first element of grips. With this method, you can disable and enable each part of gun you wanted to. For example, from within shop, or by pressing a button, or when character is in gameplay. If you want to do it in other way to be more understandable, upper define a range to the length of our array, and below it write public int silencer type. Now we have an integer that ranges between 0 and 2. Do the same for other two parts of gun. Now that we had defined the three integers, we no more need these parentheses integers, so remove them. Also, remove test command in a start. And put defined integers in brackets. To test this method, in update void, write if input.getKeyDown keycode s means when user press s button. Then upgrade gun void executes. If you pay attention, the lengths of our integers are a unit more than our array length. For example, look. Silencer type is between 0, 1, and 2, means 3 numbers, but its length is 2. Why we've done that? Because I want of an all numbers but 0, all parts of gun be disabled. So add another element to our array, and give empty game object that has all parts of gun to this element. Now we should come back to a script and make a small change. In this part, write if silencer type was bigger than 0 means we upgraded a part of gun, enable element 0 of array means the part that all of the silencers are in its subsets. And after that, enable the element that we set its number. Again, do the exact same for two other parts of your gun. Now, by changing the final range and pressing S button, we can enable and disable any desired part of gun. Last part is to set gun damage. How? In a script, define an integer called damage. Now, in the end of the void, write damage equals number of each gun part plus one, and at last, in parentheses, all multiplied by 120. Now, if the numbers of gun chains, the gun damage chains. As the numbers be more, means the gun parts have higher level, the damage increases, and vice versa. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.